Good morning. I'm just sitting here reading the Bible using both my spirit and my mind. I, I, am a, I have one mind. I don't have more than one mind. I just have one. It's interesting what the Bible says about a double-minded man. Uh, David says in Psalms 119, he says, this is pretty strong language. He says, I hate those who are double-minded, but I love your law. Interesting that David hates those people. The book of James says it this way, a little bit differently. Consider it all joy, my brethren, when you encounter various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces endurance. And let endurance have its perfect result, so that you may be complete, lacking in nothing. But if any man lacks wisdom, let him ask unto God, who gives to all men generously and without reproach, and it will be given to him. But he must ask in faith, without doubting, for the one who doubts is like the surf of the sea, driven and tossed about by the wind. For that man ought not to expect he would receive anything from the Lord, being a double-minded man, unstable in all of his ways. So what's James saying? James is saying, if you, ask, if you need wisdom, ask for God, but ask in faith. Don't ask and then doubt, and then ask and then doubt, and then ask and then doubt. It's two minds. It's two minds working against one another. So here's my prayer for us today as the church. Lord God, I pray, Lord, for us that we might have one mind, the one mind that is fixed on you. In fact, the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 2 that we have the mind of Christ. I often wake up in the morning and I, that's my opening prayer. Lord, today, give me the mind of Christ so I can think like you and think the thoughts of God after you. I can think thoughts like the scriptures tell me to. So today, here's my prayer for you. It's you are singular minded. You have only one mind and that is the mind of Christ. So today, have a phenomenal day and think like Jesus.